Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It's episode 50... 55. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, that's not a good sign when you got to check the rundown sheet for the first episode of the night. Episode 55. We are on Nar Shaddaa. We've been uh, running through the, the poisonous gases that these guys apparently love. Um, somebody told us that there was a Gand warrior we ought to talk to. And I tried finding a reference to this quest so so I could see if there was like a way that I could just like hustle up and find him and, and just get out of this a little bit quicker. Uh, nobody even mentioned this one. So I'm a little worried that that might be a quest that was originally a part of the game and then got cut. And the restored content mod accidentally started that stub. I don't know. Um, we, we could spend today just running around, um, taking care, talking to each and every Gand. But what I, uh, I'm probably not going to do that. I, I think that might just end up being a quest that we never, never fulfill. Uh, what I am going to do is I'm going to run around to each of these chemical dispensers and pick up the free chemicals. Uh, so that way I can use them for med packs and whatnot. Because uh, I, I didn't realize that's what that was until I went looking for information on where this Gand warrior might be. I, I could probably also take a look and, and start questioning everybody who's standing and not moving around. Because finding the appropriate Gand warrior might... Uh, ah, sure, why not? We're here. Uh, what's your name? The Gand of the Gand. Uh, tell me about the Gand. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Are you a great Gand warrior? Nope. Okay. Never mind then. Alright. Yeah, I, I really... I, I deeply suspect that that one is a boondoggle. And, and that... that that is moderately disappointing, but, uh, wait. Oh, Feinsman. Okay. Uh, okay. No. Keep hoping. I, I keep hoping that I'm going to get lucky and randomly hit on the one guy. Although, I would have thought it would have been somebody like this dude standing out in the, out in the middle. Oh. Oh. Wait a second. He's the only one that's offered me a different, uh, different conversation option. Not this guy. The the guy I was just speaking to. Okay. Um. Let's try this dude again. Why do you speak to the Gand? What's your name? Tell me about it. That's very confusing. What's your name? Okay. I, I was hoping that was going to end up being the case, but apparently not. All right, let's uh, let's let, let's finish picking up the chemicals, and then we'll be on our way. I mean, there's always these guys floating around. Ah. All right, maybe maybe I'll do that another time. Depends on if I get to the exchange today or not. I think I should be able to get there. Uh, the attention of the exchange today. Yeah, I keep hoping that maybe if I can find the one that looks different. But none of them look different. Or somebody's in a weird group or some other tell that, uh, that they're the guy I need to talk to. Oh. Um... So there's no chemical thing there. 
Uh, hmm. That's all of them. Let's head back in through this one. Let's see, if we pick up all the uh, all the chemicals here. All right, and we're not going to find any gained on this side. They appear to only be in that other environment. We're just going to find a different sort of trouble over on this side. Nothing. Nope. And we're especially not going to get much out of bar patron number seven two. Uh, if you can't even give him a name, other than thug. Uh. And then we got this side. And this should be the last little bit of chemicals. And then we can get to one of the areas in Arshada that we have not yet done much exploring in. There's a... Uh, there, there's a section that is for the refugees. It is... Uh, territory that is disputed by the exchange and one of the other gangs. And as we go about doing what we do, we should be able to trigger uh, trigger something there. All right. That would appear to be all the chemicals we're going to get out of this place. Let's uh, leave. I'm going to change up the gear and change up the crew. All right, um, let's do the gear first. Let's go back to, oh, did I give somebody else the really good stuff? I must have. What's the prerequisite? Oh, the weapon spe specialization. Never mind. All right, then I'll take the, uh, you know what? Is that what I had? Hmm. I thought I had something different. All right. Uh, you know, so let me just leave the breath mask on. And you know, I'll just leave all that stuff on. I'm not going to bother with that. I am going to uh, remove T3 and add Bowder. And these guys need to be leveled up real quick. Since she's already a Jedi Consular and there's nothing that's going to change there, I'm going to go ahead and level her up real quick. Because uh, I got a funny feeling I'm going to need that. And. Hmm. There's no major gain one way or the other. Um, I could bump up her wisdom a little bit more. That would help since she, she does have a fair number of Jedi powers. Although I can't seem to reliably get her to use them in combat situations, which is frustrating. Because I keep trying to turn her into Jedi support and she won't. I may be doing it wrong. I could also up her dexterity, which would help her hit. I wouldn't mind getting her strength up to at least 12. That way I get a little more out of the damage for her, too. I'm in no danger of uh, flipping the balance on her weapons finesse, though. The question is, is the extra one damage from uh, spending two points of strength worth the better two hit and armor from a higher dexterity or the more force points and powers from a higher wisdom uh, or the more hit points from constitution which would also allow her to get a higher level implant uh, I think it's 18 was the minimum for the highest level implants and uh, and that would also solve the strength problem by just giving her a bio implant of strength um Assuming I run across one. There is always that. So.
So, with that said... Uh, let's go ahead and do the dexterity. No. Let's do the constitution. Let's get her hit points up. Eventually. Alright, and she is stealth and awareness and treat injuring because I have nowhere else that I can really put it. Uh, repair. Uh, yeah, okay. And for feet, she got master focus, which is nice. Uh, does, doesn't she have weapons finesse already? Yeah, she's got... Uh, finesse melee and finesse lightsaber, so I don't have to worry about that. I might do the, uh, not the, re not the vitality regeneration. Where's the, um, no. Oh. Where's the force regen one? Oh, there we go. I might get her to regen force points more quickly, but I feel like there's something else I was forgetting. Not dual strike. Uh, oh, there we go. That's what I wanted. Master dueling. Uh, I don't have to worry about her using a two-handed weapon because she doesn't have two hands. Uh, <clears throat> I know. I know. So I could up that, which brings her attack to plus three and her defense to plus three. Which would be really nice. She doesn't have any power attack or flurry or anything else like that. Which is a little bit of a problem. I mean, Flurry would be nice. But, yeah, let, let's go ahead and get the Master Dueling out of the way. And then we can uh, ponder what else we add after that. Then we'll go Powers. She gets Force Channel. Is that on this list so I can see? No, of course not. All right, what do I want to do? Uh, I should probably get her the improved heal because it would be nice to have two people that have that. Uh, night speed. Man, I like a speed boost, but it's really weird when that kicks in. I don't know that I'm going to do that. Uh, I, ooh. She could get the Master Force Barrier, which absorbs the first 15 points of damage from slashing, bludgeoning, and piercing still or the improved battle meditation which affects everybody uh, her stuns are a little low level which is slightly cons oh but we got two powers to pick from all right then that's easy let's uh, let's bump up both her stuns this go round and then we'll bump up the battle meditation next go round all right except oh that's as far up as she's going and since he i'm going to keep him as a tech specialist even though you uh she could use the heal she could use the heal plus 2 like i said that that would be a really nice one to have an extra person uh walking around with but I never seem to get her to use her force powers in combat like she's supposed to. And, and I can at least get her, force her to, to do a battle meditation before we hit. And, uh, yeah. And I'm going to keep this guy as a tech specialist, even though you can train him as a Jedi. Uh, because that, he, he really is the most useful skills guy on the whole thing. He's better than the droid at having a wide variety of skills um which means i really want his intelligence up on the other hand getting his constitution up means i could get some better implants which would solve a whole bunch of other issues and hit points never hurt although dex would help with a couple of the skills and he is awfully short on Dex, and it would also help with his armor. Um, yeah, let's go with Dex. Let's use the next two points to get his dexterity up, and then we'll we'll go back to the the con. All the skills. 
And one more for stealth because. Although I probably should be bumping up treat injury. Um, for no good reason. Okay. All right, that's it. That's everybody. Let's just double check. Everybody's got uh, the weapons that they should have. Nobody's walking around with something weird. Oh. Uh, she should have... We can give her something. Might as well, right? Okay. I wish I could remember what I had originally had beyond the breath mask, though. I, I thought I had something else going there. Alright, let's, uh... Let's get about our way. Oh, we probably ought to. Oh, okay. That's, sorry. We will handle that at a later point in time. Unless I want to go ahead and mug a hut. I thought that thought does have its, uh, yeah. All right, so those are the guys you needed to sneak in upon. Those are the guys that don't, we'll have to come back for them after we've been to Mandalore. Um, where's the Lunar Shadow guy? Thank you for helping us. Oh, okay, that's it, that's all we get. For some reason, I thought we had more than that. Because I noticed the captain's still standing there. Yeah, I wasn't planning on mugging a hut yet, so uh, we might do that uh, next go round, or depending on how far we get tonight, we might do that towards the end of tonight and have her fun little heist. But I know, I know that in the refugee sector, which is where I'm trying to go to next that's the entertainment promenade we've already done everything we can do there the refugee sector once we go in there we won't be able to change out our crew which will be a shame uh that's right he's nothing but the the parts thought there was another merchant that we wanted to I was going to offer us a really nice deal. And I wanted to stop and see if we should shop. I meant to do that over the weekend and I just didn't get to it. Maybe it was this one? How may I assist you today? Um, okay. Oh, oh, we got some more back and forth between these two. Uh, Undar countered your offer with a threat from the exchange. That's not an offer I can match. I've given you the lowest discount I can. It seems you must make a choice. Both of us cannot remain in business here on the Smuggler's Moon. If either of us backs down, then we will not have the credibility to deal here again. The choice between us is this. Undar can offer better weapons and armor. Uh, unlikely I'll ever have the connections. Oh, okay. Uh, you're trying to tell me something. Am I? Perhaps the universe is filled with choices. Quick, easy roads to gratification and power. Dark roads. Uh, the Jedi know about such choices. It's what they must uh, confront wherever they go. Yada, yada. Uh... All right. I'll choose the longer road. Very well, but I did warn you, there may be nothing down this path that you've chosen. Alright. Yet perhaps if we work together, much can be gained. I have a proposal. Of course you do. I know you came here by a ship and that you have recently visited other worlds. Perhaps you know of a way to establish a market there where I cannot. Andoran suffers beneath the blockade and the growing sessionist movement there makes it difficult for merchants. Dantooine is still suffering from its attack during the Jedi Civil War. The settlements there lie in jeopardy. Okay. So she's looking for new markets. Now I wonder if that will increase what I can get from her later on. Uh, I will do my best and let you know. 
Uh, let me see what you have. All right. Uh, long swords, crystals, pistols. All right. Here's what I want. Damage resistance versus Sonic. Now, Neural Band, plus two to will. Insulated gloves. Uh, I was hoping for something better than what we got here. Reflex. Uh, fortitude and strength. That's not a bad one. I might have to come back for that. I mean to stun fear and horror. Okay. Uh, reflex. Strength and con, but I need a con of 18. And then some more stuff for rifles. All right. Nothing much worth uh, looking at here, but I did get some light side points. Okay. Well, since I'm going to have to run by him anyway to get to the refugee sector, let me give this dude the bad news. It'll probably give me uh, the standing I need with the exchange anyway, yeah, since he threatened me with him. <laughs> you in the back like flight, flight suit rash. Good, good. Fine, no, not mail routine. Okay. Best weapons. Best armor. Alright. I'm standing with Greta. Don't trouble her anymore. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Basically, he's going to tell the exchange, and he hopes that I live more hours before they learn to, or learn of it. Okay. There we go. Ooh. Does this, uh... Does this give me the light side points that I get the um, constitution bonus? No, not yet. I haven't recovered those light side points yet. Yikes. <laughs> Still working on that one. Man, you, 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 you threaten one little card shark. And it takes a lot more light side points to come back from that. I... Didn't expect it to end up like that, but okay. So, I'm picking this crew because I know I won't be able to change them once I get in there. And they'll be able to help me with some speeder repairs. And since I can't change out the crew once I get there. Plus, they are handy to have in a fight. Alright, oh. Uh, new trade. So when I get to Andoran and Dantooine, I gotta see if I can uh, do something there. I, I gotta find out about naming of the Gand. That is bothering me. And before I do anything else, save game. Save. I am sure that I want to save. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Oh, goody. Two thugs. Just what I wanted to see. What do you do here? You're not allowed. You're not refugee. Because I don't want to live like a... No. Okay. Unless you have credits or something you can give us. Oh, I got something I can give you. Uh... And... What do you want? You want the toll? Anyone coming in or out of the sector pays overseers sacquesh's toll except refugees they stay in um and who's this overseer he runs the squad soon this whole sector cleans up the trash like you thanks <laughs> okay i can intimidate him a couple of different ways which while Tempting probably isn't going to get me what I want. Uh, Sackwash sounds like the one I need to see. Those are big words coming from a pair of two cred thugs like yourselves. Let's just go with he seems like the one I need to see. <laughs> He's on the west side. Now you pay the toll. 50 credits. No, you pay me 50 credits. <laughs> Force persuade. I don't need I don't need to pay the toll. Uh, I'm visiting. Do I really have to... Uh, I'm just visiting. <laughs> uh, 
that wasn't even a force persuade. I'm just visiting. I don't uh, <laughs> No, you wanted to fight. You got Oh, so I can still fight them. Uh, all right. I, I got a funny feeling I'll need to fight them later. All right. Uh, which way do I want to go? Magnetically sealed door. Impossible. All right. Nothing's impossible long enough. We'll get there. Down the stairs, down, down to Goblin Town. <clears throat> Man. Oh. Uh, upstairs or down? Let's try upstairs first. What's over here? Okay. This is not what the map made it look like, but okay. Hello? Is there anybody home? Nope. What about in here? Hello? Nope. And in here? Uh, this is Hero's Quest. You open the hall and you find another hall. And behind that hall you find a door. And behind that door you find a hall. <laughs> Not left? Yeah, I know. Left is kitchen. <laughs> Sorry. I, I gotta put the timestamps or something. Hey, there's people again. Uh, are these the people I want? No, I, I didn't think I wanted to be here yet. You know what? I know I don't want to be here yet. Because I don't want to talk to the Serico thugs until I've had a conversation in the commons. Uh, that just makes a lot of the, the quests go shorter. And as much as I love running back and forth and around and down and all that other good fun stuff, uh, I don't want to do that to you on, on screen. If you want to go rambling around... By all means, do so. Mazel tov. Hello, refugee. If you want to find out what's going on, talk to Husef. I would love to talk to Yusuf. Where is Yusuf? Deep back, I am ill. Contagious, the others say. Uh, <laughs> you look awful. You sh <laughs> Wow. Okay. So I can do a treat injury. Let me help. I can persuade, lie to him, you look awful. You should kill yourself to prevent your disease from spreading. That's an option? How did you become ill? Then get away from me. Let's try with how did you I become ill. I was well just yesterday. Yeah, I know. Exactly. Now, wow. I don't think I'll last much longer. Okay. Let me do the treat injury. Really? The others say I have the plague. I'm sorry, did it look like I just stabbed him or something? I'm feeling a little better. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, <laughs> oh, ooh, light side points. Ooh, a Bondar crystal. If only I had a lightsaber to put it in. <laughs> okay. And what is it you think you have accomplished? Uh, what do you mean? You seek to aid everyone that suffers in the galaxy. Oh, you will only weaken yourself. And Lady, we've them. already been through this. It is the internal struggles, when fought and won on their own, that yield the strongest rewards. You stole that struggle from them, cheapened it. Uh. If you were in need, I'd do what I could to help you. Yourself in such a way for me, I would rather suffer and die <coughs> than have you demean yourself for me. Okay then, suffer and die. Who you can become? Hmm. 
If I had anybody else other than Baudur with me, I might try to argue it a little bit more and go, perhaps you're right. Uh, if it meant your life... The Mandalorian Wars prove such things. In only one Jedi did I see valor. Then your allies are your weakness, and if they die, you die with them. And because of that, hmm. where once the Sith had but one target, now there are many, and you frustrate my attempts to protect you. All right, I'll consider this. Ooh, I gained influence with Baudur, which is great. I lost influence with Korea, which sucks. Because she is how you get a fair amount of training, but she is most definitely a gray Jedi. And, uh, yeah. Hello? Um. Oh. Uh, are you guys seriously living out of cargo containers? Yikes. Alright, refugee, veteran, refugee. There is Yusuf. Alright, before we talk to Yusuf, I'm going to insert the cut to end the YouTube episode. But if you're watching live on the stream, hang tight. I will be back in just a minute. Well, that was fun. Unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And if you want to watch live, you can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up live stream archives from some of my other stuff and various and sundry other videos because i do more than just this and if you want to get notifications don't forget to hit the bell and if you really truly enjoyed it don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff if you have any questions queries quips quotes comments complaints or other whatnot don't forget to leave those in the comments down below lastly if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a little value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit especially if it tickled the nostalgia or opened your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're, uh, we're going to cut out, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.